Welcome to the 2023 Ford Ranger Wild Track. This is probably one of the most in demand and most desirable vehicles on the Australian market right now, especially in V6 form as featured here. Since the new model launched late last year, sales of the new Ranger have jumped considerably. In fact, during January this year, it was the best selling vehicle outright. Yep, overtaking the unstoppable Toyota Hilux. And once you get to know this thing, you soon realize why it has been such a success. It looks tough, for starters, with this wild track variant showcasing a range of dark grey highlights for that fashionable contrasting theme. It does not just look good though, this is a well thought out workhorse as well, offering an impressive payload capacity of almost one tonne, with the wild track adding a powered roller blind for added convenience. There's also a durable tub liner and a power socket in the back. Underneath you'll find a revised version of the Aussie developed T6 platform with heavy duty live axle rear suspension with leaf springs. It meets the maximum towing capacity rating of 3.5 tonnes for this class. The full width of the rear bumper bar is a stepping surface and Ford has cleverly integrated a side step at the corners. Ford says it took in a lot of customer feedback when creating the new model and it really shows. This example features the optional all-terrain tyres, which is what you go for if you're planning regular off-road excursions. However, we think it is worth keeping in mind that braking performance does suffer compared with the standard items. Inside is where we think Ford has done a fantastic job, blending everyday practicality with modern and usable tech while improving ergonomics and material quality. The full-size 12-inch touchscreen on the wild track stands tall and proud but it's not overly complicated. Load times are pretty good and most of the menus seem logical in structure. The driving position is now perfect, which is not very common in these dual cab utes. You have full steering column adjustment and the seat mounting makes you feel like you're sitting in the cabin rather than on it. Rear passengers get climate vents and charging ports as well as cup and bottle holders. Legroom is pretty good back here, especially in the outer seats and headroom is quite good for its class. The seat back is also carved out to look a bit like the front seats, with contrast stitching adding some flair. As for the V6 engine, well, as we've said before, it's probably best to think of this as a replacement to the old 3.25 cylinder, rather than view it as a performance unit just because it has six cylinders. It does go really nicely, offering strong low-end torque and effortless highway cruising. Acceleration is good and easily clears all other four-cylinder models, like it should, but it's probably not as quick as you might expect for a V6. But this is a very heavy vehicle after all. Fuel economy is actually pretty decent, including in the real world, as you don't tend to lean on it that much. In fact, you don't need to push it very hard at all to get the job done, compared with a four-cylinder. And then off-road, this engine walks up big steep hills with no troubles at all. The ride quality is okay for a ute, but rivals with coil springs at the back obviously provide a softer feel. But then, they are not as heavy duty. Overall, this is a superb package, a great all-rounder, and we can see why it is so popular at the moment. This is what it goes like.